Welcome to X Essentials Light Connector Edition. So we're going to take all of these different tools and make all of this connect to wire. Let's begin. <gasps> what happened? Where's our helping hand? Well, for this time, we don't need a helping hand because we are using scotch locks. And these used to be called 3M scotch locks, but they got bought by Corning. Uh, all of uh, 3M's connectors, their entire division got bought by Corning, but thankfully Corning is carrying on the name of scotch lock and also the model numbers. So these are called UR2, these are called UY2. Uh, again, it comes down to colors. So this is for a bigger gauge wire, this is for the smaller gauge wire. You would use these for your extensions and your pigtails, you would use these bad boys for your pixels. Um, they also make a UR2D, which is dry, and a UY2D, which is dry, but you don't want those. They don't have dielectric gel in them. Uh, you want the ones with the gel inside, the, the grease and that will prevent water from uh, penetrating or permeating into the connector where the strands of the wire actually get connected. Now, these are actually not designed for stranded wire, but they work great in our hobby. I've been using them since uh, the 2018 season, and I've yet to have a bad one. Now, people will say on the forums, oh, I've had bad ones all the time. Well, I hate to tell you this, guys, but you're doing it wrong because I've used these in the field for over 25 years and I've never had a bad one from the way that I installed it. Um, have I seen bad ones out there? Yes, but that's generally because people are not using the proper tool. They're just using a pair of pliers. If you're using a pair of pliers uh, to squish these on, you're doing it wrong because it's very difficult with a pair of pliers to squeeze that head all the way down so it's flush. So when you squeeze this down, if you use the correct pair of pliers, these are correct, these are Jonard. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, you can get the knockoffs, it doesn't matter. They all do the same. They're all uh, created equally. They'll squish the head down so that it is absolutely flat. The majority of people are doing it wrong because they're not making that absolutely flat. They're, they're crimping it down and it's, it's got a head up on it on the left or the right side, the front side, the back side, whatever. They're doing it wrong. That's one thing that they're doing wrong. The other thing is when you bring these wires together, you want to make sure that you've got the clear end or the translucent end towards you. You want to see this. See that bridge in there? You want both wires to extend past that bridge. Do not connect them like that. Do not connect them like that. Do not connect them like that. Okay, that's wrong. This is correct. You want the wire to see all the way back into the the scotch lock. Once you have that on there like so, you can then crimp that down just like that. And notice, see the jelly? That's really good for the skin. No, actually it's not. It's, it's non-toxic, but it, it's tough to get off. So anyway, um, notice, look at that. It's perfect. That's a perfect connection. That's never gonna fail on you. All right, so let's say that you're using pixels and you know you only have that much room and you did this wrong, you installed it wrong. Well, crap, I've just, you know, lost two pixels now because this one is too short and this one's too short. Uh, so I got to now cut two out. Well, not necessarily. If you grab your pliers and you turn this sideways and you put it in here, you can squeeze it down, okay? And you can break that. See how now this is lifted up? So you can, you can break that apart like that. You can squeeze it some more. You can get it so that you can remove this clip if you needed to, okay? Now, granted, most people are not going to need to do that, but there you go. So there's your two wires. Then you can just cut off that portion of it right there. So really you just lost, what, maybe an eighth, a sixteenth of an inch of wire. And you just do it all over again. And you stick it back in the hole and there you go. So that's how to properly use 
a 3M or a Corning uh, Scotch Lock. The other thing to note is do not buy the knockoffs. You want real 3M or Corning Scotch Locks. See right there? You can see in the light it says 3M. The knockoffs are going to be blue. They're going to be, uh, you know, they won't say 3M on them. So don't buy those. Buy the real deal. You won't have problems. The knockoffs, these these little buttons, they, they pop off inside the can. You know, uh, when you, when you, here, watch this. Let me go grab something. When you buy these, all right, so here's, here's 500, okay, there's none of them, none of the buttons fall off on these guys. Here's the new Corning packaging, here's 500, all right, there's, there's no buttons that are popped off. The, the knockoffs, you're going to have buttons that are popped off, and it's just not worth the, the extra cost. These are, these are, you can get these on eBay. Um, they're generally $10 per 100 with free shipping. So a 500 like that, that's 50 bucks. That's 50 bucks. So 